Hey everyone, thanks for joining me once again for another video of The Walking Dead Season 1. Now I really appreciate you stopping by and showing your support for my channel. Now hit that like button if you're enjoying the series, subscribe for all my additional content, and follow me on social media, the links are below in the description. Now let's play. Now that I've got her uh, hook, I'm going to go and attack this pipe to lower the lift. The car left. I did it. Whoa, whoa. Oh shit. I thought I was gonna lower it gently. No shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally something goes right. It's off. Got that one off. Got it. All right, we got the battery now. Let's go. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Since when do standing walkers know to drop onto the front and crawl underneath things? Ooh, crafty, crafty. Ah oh, shit. Skylight. Shoot it. Okay, so now we're roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Holy shit. I'm not gonna make that. What are you, chicken? Jump. Chicken? Don't call me chicken. Well, now that you mention it. Uh, oh, there you go. That took me a few attempts. <laughs> The great powers of video editing. <laughs> Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? I keep in secrets that one. Right, so they're still trying to get into there, so you guys need any help? I'm not gonna get any further with them. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I think I need to go back to the classroom. Oh shit. Little help here. X, quick, 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 fucking X, go on. Square. Oh, guys. Heads in the way. Right, let's. Oh, well, you could shoot him, yeah? <laughs> quick, get that hatchet. A tomahawk. X, X, triangle. Right, you slip that in the handles. Oh, for the for the moment. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel. Yeah, sucky bugger, any. Let's not start high fiving just yet. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Oh, good job, guys. We didn't make out. What are you doing with that door. <laughs> Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. 
Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Huh. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. <laughs> Damn, that's cold. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Uh, okay. So I'm asking you questions. It's going to speak to Ben and that. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> that was lately. <laughs> no, wait. That was earlier on in the There's day. Something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This is no good idea. It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor in they'd Don't speak so loud, he's gonna hear no, you. I'm supposed to just carry something like that around. I have to tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> you motherfucking mind? You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. Ooh, burn. It never happened. How dare you speak to me like that? We need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For the good of everyone. You hear me? Or I'll kick you in the dick. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Okay, he's aiming for the right square go he is. Alright, let's go through. Let's go and see if they've made their way into the uh, the medicine place. The doctors. Nursing unit. Whatever they want to call it. God, they're gonna end up coming through those those glass windows soon. And the hell, Molly's gone. Shit. Oh, shit! Where did they come in? in there. Oh, am I gonna have to shoot every single one? Oh, here we go. Right, boom. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Boom. 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 And boom. Not bad shooting. Even if I do say so myself. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. 
I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Right. Anything in the fax machine? Or the full copy? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. And none here? Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination though. Phones probably haven't worked in months. And another desk? Oh. A tape. Uh, video tape. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Yep. What's this S sonogram. It's a sonogram. Oh, camcorder, there we go. Pop that bad boy in there. The way this camera is set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it caught someone punching it in. Empty. Figures. The tape's got to be around here somewhere. Keep looking. Pop that bad boy in there. I thought I pressed that Bert, button. <laughs> Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Come on, punch in the code. So that's the doctor that Molly killed. And his surname is Logan. There's a... Damn it! We almost... What kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you mm -hmm. should search him. See what he's got on him. And that locker that says Logan with the blood stains on it is his. So we'll need to go out and get to his dead body and see if there's anything on him.
Alright, so go through here and climb up. And over that fence, I think, again. I don't know how I'm meant to get back, though. Oh. Oh, shit. Square. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They always say TV will kill you. Well, not really, but that was time it did. Stomp is heeding. Take that. <laughs> Another tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? And the combination. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. <laughs> Shit, time to go. Now how did he get back in? I don't understand that. Another tape. Alright, let's go back in and watch those two videos. See if there's a combination on it. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Hannah. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, take that, bitch. You ain't gonna kill our baby. Gosh, she going around killing people. You can hear gunfire in the background. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Crystal, Why is she crying? Right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I wonder if she's pregnant. She was sick earlier. We're in business. And that's obviously why she's getting upset. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Oh, he's zipping up his slide, dirty bastard. Oh, Listen, shit. This is oh. the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or... 
She'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Oh, so she was... She was shagging him for... Medication for her sister. Well, shit. So her sister would be showing symptoms of something without that medication. Mm. So that's obviously why she was going in hard on him at the when she was killing him with the hook. Jesus Christ! Shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Oh, God. What now? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very funny. Bitch. Here you go. I'll just put it in his Mary Poppin pockets. What's that? Nothing. I know you're from Crawford. Quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by mm. Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell uh -oh. out of here. Who's ringing the bells if she's not ringing them? Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Ben. Sorry. <gasps> He's I got the axe. By those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Oh, you, you stupid bugger. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Two bit dumbass. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Oh, shit! Oh, god damn it. Oh, I'm gonna take them out. <gasps> Wait, oh, quick, shoot him. Bang. Yeah. What a shot. Nice shot. Thank me later. Come on! Ben, we gotta go. Come on, Ben, you dumbass. Move your ass. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. <laughs> oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, Give me that, you, you dumbass. This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Oh, no. About this. Ben, shut up. Wait, I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Ah, here we go. Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Shit's gonna Penny, hit the fan. Take the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. 
It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kitty, listen to me. You can warp his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. Yeah, shut this up, Molly. Asshole Keep it. He's getting on my boat after what he did. He's out of his motherfucking mind. Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. That means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Uh, I don't think you're gonna get a say in anything now. Oh God damn it! Oh. Now can we go? Damn right, Vernon. Come on. <laughs> Well, thanks for stopping by to watch another video of The Walking Dead Season 1. I appreciate your support. Please hit that thumbs up button before you go. Also hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos and up and coming content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.